Hey, Randall, I'm using your Thrilling 3 theme song. What's up, Randall? Nothing much. Randall, I was using your theme song, buddy. Yeah. I. You know. You know. Wh- one thing about it is, like, everybody associates that to you now. So it's I no know. Longer my theme song. It's really your theme song. Well, it's because though it's originally mine. It's became. It it's became my theme song. But I tell everybody, I get Randall's permission because he's my best friend, and I tell yeah. them anytime someone in the chat says. Hey, Fierce, where did you make that theme song up? I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 no. I did not make it up. My friend Randall made it up. And I said, he's allowing me to use the song. Yeah. But if you ever said, hey, Fierce, don't use that again, then I would just find my own. But uh, I appreciate it. Randall, I love the song so much. And that glorious day, that glorious day when you called me and said, hey, Fierce, guess what? I've got good news. And I said, oh, yeah? I said, what's that? And you're like, well, I know you love that song so much. And I was like, yeah. And you said, uh, how would you like it if I got on Fiverr and I had someone remake it? And I was like, can you? And I was like, okay. So, Randall, explain to the audience, how long of a process did that take? Like, did, did you have to send that guy the Thrilling 3 episode and say, hey, listen to the song in the background of my short film? And is that, is that what he used to recreate it? Yeah. Okay. How long of a process was that? It uh, wasn't very long at all. It only took about a week. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, buddy. All right, well, that's cool, man. All right, well, let me open up the chat, guys. Uh, Randall is via satellite uh, Facebook. Uh, I would have you in the show, Randall, but I'm trying to save all of my, uh, all my stream time because I, yeah. I got a couple of big interviews up. A couple of big interviews. Uh, I, I got Tinder Immortal uh, coming back on. I've got um, uh, an Indiana Jones cosplayer, Randall. He's coming on. That I became friends with on Facebook. I mean, I, I mean, not Facebook, Instagram. Uh, next time I see Adam the Woo, I'm really gonna try to get him on, like, on the podcast. So I'm trying to save all the stream time up for all those big interviews. All right, let's open up the chat. All right. All right. We got six people watching. And it says, uh, Fears, how is your butt today? I hope your Crohn's is cleared up. Ah, it's better. I would say we're at probably 90%. It still hurts a bit, but we're not all the way there. But, you know, we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. So, yeah. Anyway, Randall, let me. I, I just want to. I, I just want to check the audio real quick. I just want to make sure everything's fine on this. Give me one second. I would say we're at. Drop. Still hurts a bit. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we're not all the way there, but we're getting there. We're 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 there. Anyway, Randall, let me. I, I just... All right. Cool. I just wanted to make sure this audio was okay. All right. Cool. Uh, Garth says, I'm glad you're doing better, Fears. I'm glad you feel better. Oh, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling much better. Again, we're not all the way there, but we're there. Anyway, so Randall, how, how was your day? What have you been up to? Uh, not much. I uh, went to Taco Bell today. I had some Taco Bell. Nice. And you said, uh, guys, uh, Rand, uh, do, you, do you mind if I tell him, Randall, uh, what's going on with the computer? Or should we just keep that between us? Uh, let's keep that between us. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. So, Randall, so uh, when's uh, – is karaoke tonight? No. When is the next karaoke jam? Monday. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, Randall, I'm hoping that you get lots and lots and lots of tips, my friend. Lots. Yeah, me too. Lots of tips. Randall, I am taking a break from the Discord. Uh, I'll probably go back in there maybe Monday or Tuesday, but uh, yeah, you know, it's the same idiots, you know, making fun of me. And they were making fun of me because my date just went okay, you know? Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. I just, I was expecting a little bit more, uh, you know, from my first date in five years. And, like, she's a nice girl, but I just didn't get 
an, an emotional connection from her. Plus, we don't have a lot in common, you know. And I don't want to waste her time, you know. So, she hasn't texted me uh, this weekend, but if she texts me next week, I may give her one more chance and go out on one more date just to see if, if I can find anything, you know, that we that we have in common. And if not, then I'm just going to be like, it was very nice to meet you, and I'm just going to move on to the next girl because I don't want to waste her time, you know. Uh, sometimes you get an emotional connection with someone, and sometimes you don't. So, yeah. But, Randall, if my stomach is still feeling good, next weekend I'm going to come and visit you. I wish okay. I wish I could have came and visit you this weekend, buddy, because yeah. I just want to, like, escape and hang out with my best friend because a, yeah. sh- a, lot, a lot of crazy shit's been going on. You know, uh, so, yeah, so hopefully next week I can definitely come and hang out, buddy. So, uh, we are, we are still going to do all the stuff that we talked about, Randall. Uh, it just is, it's going to be next weekend, my friend. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, when's your next writer's group? Uh, Monday. Nice. Do you want to, do you want to uh, plug, uh, any, any more information about your books? Uh, the Tiny Book of Awesome Magic is being formatted right now. I've got a di- I've got a guy who's going to be doing extra special formatting. He's going to be sprucing up the chapter uh, beginnings, and he's going to give us a real good title page. So, yeah, the Tiny Book of Awesome Magic second edition should be out sometime this month. Oh, nice! And it's available on Amazon with all your other books. Yeah. Awesome, buddy. And there is more than 60-plus new pages of material. That's awesome, buddy. Uh, yeah. I haven't asked you in a while. Have you, have you been um, using any of the tricks that Larry got for you? Have you, have you, got, have you broke into that box? And, uh, uh, yeah, but I'm, I, I can't do any here, but yeah. No, I, 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 I didn't mean for you to do one tonight, but I was like, so you have been practicing then. Yeah. Cool. So, are you going to take some of those to karaoke at some point? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Nice. Nice, buddy. Give me one second. I'm writing somebody uh, something. There we are. Well, my week was okay. It was, uh, I mean, besides them, the, those guys giving me grief, uh, it, it was it was all right. It was okay. <sighs> Working on lots of projects and... Uh, just trying to stay busy, buddy, with work and uh, all the other crap going on in my life. But yeah. So, Randall, I should tell you and the fans, uh, something came up in May, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to go visit my mom then. It's either going to be uh. it's either going to be later on later on in the year. Or next year, because my mom, my mom was like, it wasn't a, it wasn't a good time in May, so I said okay. So, we'll see. I'll try and get there either later on in a couple of months, or maybe, or, or, or maybe next, uh, maybe next year. So we'll see. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway. But yeah, buddy. Uh, so, I'm definitely gonna take the dude's advice, I think, and I'm definitely gonna uh, do another. Um, either another dating app or I'm going to do another, um, um, one, one of those, uh, oh, what they call a uh, speed dating. Yeah. I, I, I just, uh, I haven't gotten the courage up to do a speed dating yet. So, uh-huh. I mean, I really shouldn't be this nervous because either they're going to like you and something will happen or, or they won't like you. And then you just move on to the next one. But, I don't know. Uh, it's a bit nerve-wracking to do a speed dating thing, but we'll see. We'll see, my friend. We'll see. Yeah. But because I know, I know you mentioned that to, I should do one of those too. But I, I thought about it. There's there's one coming up. I think at the end of um, at the end of April. It's either at the end of April or at the end of May. I it's some which one of those two. I'm gonna uh, have, I'm gonna have, I save the date, and I and and I and I save um. The link, so I'll have to look at it again. I don't remember. It's either at the end of April or at the end of May. I honestly can't. But I thought about going. And it's not that expensive. It's only like $22 to do the event. Uh, so I was like, oh, it's not too bad. So, yeah. and, and, and it goes for a couple of hours. It goes from like, I think, I think last time I looked at it, I think it goes from five at night to about 
940, not, I mean, 945 at night. So it's, it's something like that. So that's a good couple hours. And you move from table to table and all that. Randall, I like those dice behind you, buddy. When did you get those? Uh, a long time ago. Well, uh, I don't remember seeing those. Maybe you didn't have them out the last time I came to visit, but... Or maybe maybe they were maybe maybe they were out and I just didn't notice them. But uh, those dice are pretty sweet, man. Yeah. So you got them what years ago, months ago, what? Uh, like three or four years ago. I guess you I guess you just didn't have them out the last time I came to visit. But I'm liking yeah. them, buddy. I'm liking them. So Randall, tonight's topics are. Uh, we got. Uh, I want to talk about some Star Trek movie props that I. Not gonna get anytime soon, but that I that I want to get. So I thought we could talk about that. Also, I wanted to talk about Randall. If we were sent into the future, right now, what were what would be some of the future inventions that you would like to see in in uh, in like let's just say if we went a hundred years into the future, so stuff like that. Yeah. And then, guys, last night I didn't tell you that I was gonna watch this, but I watched uh, the Avengers. So. Randall, if you've got anything to talk about the Avengers, you've seen this movie, right? Yeah. So if you got anything, which one do you want to start with? Do you want to start with uh, the movie props? Do you want to start with the Avengers? Do you want to do you want to start with? Uh, let's this? start with the Avengers. Okay, let's start with the Avengers. Randall, I will let you go first. What did you think of this film? And what is your favorite? Give me your two favorite scenes out of it. Let's start with that. Uh, my favorite scene is when they go into the file room and there is a, uh, there's a clerk and he's invisible and he's got like glasses and you can see like the file doors open and close. And then I really like the other scene where, uh, Uma Thurman is in like the, uh, the telephone box mm -hmm. and she's like wearing that skin tight outfit. I mean, that was a hell of an outfit, man. Yes, it was. I mean, it was not when Randall says skin tight we're talking beyond that skin yeah, I really tight like the part in the Avengers where Sean Connery like can control the weather and stuff and he says you'll buy your weather for me Randall you're so full like, of crap people. you're full of crap Randall none of that happened what none you of that seen the Avengers? I've seen the Avengers and Sean Connery was not in it he was in it Sean Connery was not in it I guarantee you he was in it. Where where was Sean Connery? He was the main villain. He played a Scottish villain. You don't remember? Randall, he's not he, he's not in there. Yeah, he was. He was not in there, I'm telling you. Randall, be serious. What what was your two favorite scenes? Uh my two favorite scenes was the one with uh Black Widow and uh well, you got to be more precise. There's a lot of scenes with Black Widow. So, wh which one? Uh, the scene where she she's tied to the chair. Oh, and she kicks the crap out of those two. Uh, uh, well, not two guys. Yeah. That's actually a couple of guys. Yeah, that's a good scene. And then what? what well, then what's your other favorite one? Uh, my other favorite one was uh, let's see, uh, the fight on the top of Stark Tower. Oh yeah. And the part where uh, Hulk. Uh, Loki is talking to the Hulk, and Loki says, uh, I am a god, you dull creature. And then, like, the Hulk grabs him by the leg and smacks him around on the floor. Literally smacks and him. Like, at the very end of that scene, he's like, uh, And he's uh, like, yeah. puny god, puny god. And the Hulk doesn't just hit him once, guys. He hits him a bunch. It's like, bam, 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 bam. Then he takes him and then throws him right into the floor and... And he's like this. He's like, ah, like that. So, yeah. Uh, That's a good one, Randall. All right, I've got, I mean, I've got a lot of favorite scenes, but if I only had to pick two, let's see here. Um, I like it when Bruce Banner and uh, Captain America, Steve Rogers, meet for the first time on the tarmac, and they're talking, and then, He's like, oh, great, me and a submarine. And then all of a sudden, like, th like the engine starts and the whole platform becomes kind of like a spaceship. Floats up into the into the air and he's like, oh, no, this is much worse. This is much worse than, than a submarine. That's one of my favorite scenes because it just it, – it's getting to know Bruce Banner and it's getting to know 
the friendship that they kind of make between Steve Rogers and Bruce Banner. So I like that one. And then I'm going to have to agree with you, Randall. I like the puny God scene where he just beats up Loki like to a pulp, to a pulp. He's like buried in the floor. And he just turns around, he's like, puny God, and like walks away. And the Hulk says that, because the Hulk barely says anything, you know? Uh-huh. So, yeah. Go ahead and take a look at that uh, photo I just sent you. I'm looking at it. Okay, Randall, you meant that movie. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen the Avengers with, with Sean Connery. I'm talking about the other Avengers, you know, the, oh, okay. the DC Avengers, my friend. All right. I didn't know that Sean Connery was in a movie called The Avengers. I had no. Is it a British movie? Yep. Is it all like British actors in it? Uh, not all British actors, no. Oh, okay. A lot of them are British. So, what's that movie about? I'm just curious. Before we go on to the well, next, it's about The Avengers. <laughs> uh, it's about a. It's about a secret agent. It's pretty much like the. Uh, like the Avengers from uh, Marvel, but it, there's nobody super powered in it. It's just a secret agency that uh, handles like world conflicts. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go get some Oreos. Be okay. Honest, keep keep them on your toes. Keep them entertained until I come back. I will. I will. I will. All right. So anyway, uh, well, listen. Randall just blew my mind. Uh, Garth Brooks. Uh, I had no idea there was a British movie called The Avengers. I thought, because I thought he was talking about this and saying that Sean Connery was in this. And I was like, Randall, you're full of crap. I'm like, Sean Connery is not in this Avengers. I had no idea there was a British version of The Avengers. I had Sean no... Connery is in The Avengers, man. Well, now I know that, Randall, but I had no idea there was a... Now you know, and knowing's half the battle. Yeah, well, I didn't know there was a British version of The Avengers. So when did they make that version? I'm just curious. 1998. Okay, so it's an older film. I th that blew my mind. I I've never heard of that version, Randall. I've never seen that movie. Never never had a clue that that was a thing. Wow. Now is that is that version good, Randall? No. It's not. Not at all. Oh wow. So that so there's nothing good about that movie. I mean, there are some funny parts. Oh, so is it like an action comedy? Because I've never heard of this. It's not an action comedy. It's it's like a comedy in the way that James Bond is a comedy, you know? Oh, okay, so it's an action movie that's got... funny, witty lines. Yeah, it. I got it. So it's an action movie with some, some with a few funny scenes in it. Okay, I got yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's why uh, when you see Marvel's Avengers, they call it Marvel's Avengers and not just the Avengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cause when you said that, I was like, I know Randall's fucking with me. I'm like, I know that for a fact that Sean Connery is not in that, you know? So, but yeah. All right. Well, that's cool, buddy. Anyway. So yeah, those are my two favorite. And then also Randall, I mean, you have to acknowledge, you know, the after credits, you know, like when they're sitting around in that destroyed building, you know, eating, uh, what is it? Subway sandwiches or whatever they were eating. Uh, shawarma. Yeah, which is which is what I always forget. It's is it a type of is it an Italian? It's like an Indian burrito. It's an Indian burrito. Okay, I thought it was a sandwich, a sandwich shop or whatever they were eating at. But it wasn't sandwiches, because I remember Tony Stark brings it up. He goes, "Well, if we if we make it through this alive, you guys have got to try this uh, this this little restaurant that I found." And then at the after credits, it's all of them sitting in what's left of the restaurant, and and they're eating. And I thought that was that was a funny little scene. That was a funny. Well, scene. you know, funny uh, funny thing is that uh, is that um, Robert Downey Jr. improvised that line. Oh, did he? Oh, and, uh, yeah. Oh. And Joss Whedon loved it so much that he decided, to, you know what, I'm going to make a whole scene around that. That what a lot of people don't know. I was like, do it. In the end credit scene, Chris Evans has a full beard, but if you look at him, he's got his hand over his face so you can't see the beard because they shot that scene when he was doing a different movie where he had a beard. So that's why in Chris Evans, he's not eating, but he's got his hand over his face, like covering his jaw. You know, I didn't even notice that, Randall, until you said something. Uh -huh. Until you said that, I was like, oh, yeah. 
I, I just completely forgot about that. Yeah. So, Randall, if you had to grade it, what would you give it? Ten. No, I, I mean, uh, uh, well, one through ten. I'm going to give it a nine out, of, a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I would give it a 9.5. Sounds good, buddy. Sounds good. And I love, it's, it's one of the first movies that's got not every single superhero in it, but a lot of superheroes together. No, no, no other movie, I think, had done that before. Like, other movies, they have, like, one or two heroes together. Or, like, yeah. a, or like a hero and, like, two of his villains together. But no movie before The Avengers had, like, five or six superheroes in it. Yeah. Because you got, you got them all. You got... You got uh, Iron Man, you got the Hulk, Black Widow, Hawkeye. Supergirl, yeah. Hawkeye. Supergirl. Not Hawkeye, not not Supergirl, right? That's DC. <laughs> uh, you got Black Widow, you got Iron Man, the Hulk, uh, Hawkeye, ca- uh, Captain America, you know. Am I missing yeah. one? That's all of them, right? Uh, Stuart Coulson. Stop fucking with me, Randall. How dare you? How dare you? You son of a bitch. Un fucking believable, Randall. No, it was a good film. I I, I liked it a lot. I I, I did. It was um, it was entertaining. It did have a couple of laps. Lots of action though. Lots of lots of baddies. Lots of villains. Yeah. They pretty much like kick Loki's ass, a- and the army that uh, Loki brings. Randall, is that one of your is that one of your favorite Marvel movies, uh, The Avengers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. What's what's your – if you could only – let's try and do this. I'm not going to give a classic fears answer. If you could only pick one Marvel movie, what would it be? Well, you know, I already know the answer to this question. Um, okay. If I could only pick one, it would definitely be Iron Man 2. Now, a lot of people – a lot of people hate Iron Man 2 because they say there's not a lot of action. I don't. I don't. And if you look at it, th- there's only really – there's only like three action scenes in Iron Man, like total. Like there's a scene where Ivan Stronko comes and like chops the indie cars in half. Yep. That's the first one. Yep. And then the second one technically isn't even like an action scene because it's between Iron Man and War Machine. So it's like you know they're not going to kill each other, so that technically doesn't count, but – and then the third action scene comes at right at the end of the movie where Iron Man, uh, Whiplash, and War Machine face off together. So there's only really three mm-hmm. action scenes in that entire movie. But there are so many good scenes in that movie, like where uh, where Whiplash meets uh, Justin Hammer. And Justin Hammer mm-hmm. is going through this like really long like explanatory dialogue tribe. And then it goes, well, well, what do you think? Does it sound like a good deal? And like, uh, and uh, Whiplash goes, well, no more is a niche. I was like, have you understood everything I've been saying? Like, do I need to get an interpreter? Well, you know what? That's and actually like, one of my. Like, that's one of my. Good man. Randall, oh, very good man. Yeah, yeah. Randall, that's one of my favorite scenes. Is where they take uh, the blindfold off of him, and he's in that airplane hangar, and Justin Hammer's like, "What an absolute pleasure!" And, and he's like. Yeah, and he goes on for like a good five minutes. Yeah, he's yeah, up. and he's all like, he's like, "All right, dive in." He goes, uh, "You know, we got some salmon today." And he's like, "I like to eat my ice cream." Ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like to eat my ice cream first. Uh, it's organic ice cream, but I had it flown in from you know Italy or whatever the hell he says. And then literally, like Randall's not kidding. Literally, like five, six minutes later, are you able to understand me? I can get a translator, you know. Like, have I been talking to a wall this entire time? Exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I can and get a translator. Where, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there's the part where Justin Hammer gets the war machine outfit, and he's like, and then he's trying to, like, sell the guns to Don Cheadle. And, oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's and a good one. Like, his whole jive and his whole banter and everything he talks about. Oh, yeah. And also, Scarlett Johansson was at the peak of her hotness in this movie. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, she's hot. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. She is like, smoking. She, Scarlett she was the hottest she was ever been in that movie. I mean, I'll be honest, Randall. She's still pretty hot, but yeah, Randall's not even kidding. At the peak of her hotness, she's still hot now. But back then, yeah. Randall, I mean, her hair was like perfectly flowing. Her body was like this. 
hourglass body, just perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah, and then uh, Nick Fury had a few scenes that were pretty badass. Where uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, uh, Nick Fury meets with Iron Man and Black Widow in the Randy's Donut Shop, and he's like, uh, "I am very real." He goes, "I'm the realest person you're ever gonna meet," you know. I like when Iron Man's in the donut and uh, yeah. Nick Fury's like, sir, <laughs> yeah. please step out of the donut. You know, that's a real place in Los Angeles, Randall. If I, if, yeah, I, I, if I ever go back to Los Angeles, I swear to God, I'm going to go grab some donuts. Out of, what, what is it? Is, it? is it just called Randy's Donut Shop? Yeah, yeah. Randy's I'm going to Google that place the next time I'm in L.A. I'm going to grab some donuts. Because the donuts that they had in the scene – because they shot in that place. I don't think it was on a set. They shot in the actual donut shop. And the donuts looked really good in that scene. So I was like, oh, damn. Well, I've got to go to that movie location and check it out. All right, so that's your favorite. That, so if you could only pick one Iron... I mean, I mean, That would be it. So if one... I could pick only one Marvel movie, that so, would be it. So one Marvel movie. Randall, I'm going to go with... Probably Iron Man 1. And I'm being honest. I love Iron Man. I, uh, like, you know how much I love Superman off of DC? Yeah. Iron Man's my probably my favorite superhero from Marvel. He's one of my favorites. He's up there. And you know what? The funny thing is, is guys, I hate to say it, Iron Man does not have zero powers. All of his power comes from his suit. So he's not well, like... his power is in his brain. Well, yeah. I guess I mean, he... he, he he does have that power because he's a, he's he's a a genius. That's that's how he can make the suit. But really, all of his strength and all of his powers come from his suit. But I wouldn't mind. He's even more. I, I someone told me he's got more money than Bruce Wayne. Tony Stark does. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that correct, Randall? Uh, they've never actually said how much uh, Tony Stark or uh, Bruce Wayne is worth. Yeah, but they estimated with 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 Tony Stark's technology and uh, Bruce Wayne's income. They they estimate that Bruce Wayne has about nine billion. But they said if somebody actually made like Iron Man suits and Iron Man technology, mm -hmm. they they would probably be trillionaires. So okay, they, somebody said that. Somebody on the internet said that Iron Man has way 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 more money than Bruce Wayne does. And you know the funny thing is is like, um, it's. Like, maybe not all of Tony Stark's technology is possible, but I think it would be possible to put a man in in a suit like that. Yeah. I don't like, and you know what? Uh, his name doesn't even make sense. It's not made out of iron. It, it, what, what I forgot in the story, isn't his suit made out of titanium? Uh. Or it's some. I don't know. It's some. I, I forgot. It, it's some big strong. Like steel, I think it's not even iron. It, it's it's. I think it's titanium. I can't remember, but um. Okay, so here's what Google says: Who is wealthier, Bruce Wayne or Tony Stark? All right, let's do it. Let's Bruce dig into Wayne that. Wayne is worth nine point two billion dollars, according to Forbes. Okay. Tony Stark, otherwise known as Iron Man, narrowly edges out Wayne in the Battle of the Billionaire Playboys. His net worth is believed to be somewhere around twelve point four billion. You know, so they're 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 pretty damn close. They're both billionaires. Yeah, they're both billionaires. Okay, right, that makes sense. All right, we got seven people watching. Garth Brook is the is the only one to comment. Where is everybody? Put put your comments in the chiz at. Where is everybody? Uh, they're over at my place, hanging out, Pierce. You son of a bitch. They want you to come over and just chill out and party. Really? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Really fierce. Well, usually it takes him a little while to come in, so hopefully we get some more comments in the chat. But uh, right. to answer Garth Brooks, I am feeling a little bit better today. I'm still, I'm still not 100. Uh, percent My stomach still kind of hurts a little bit, but I'm at about 90, percent so I feel a little bit better. Because yesterday I was like at 80. percent It was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So yeah, so right off, I only had to pick one Marvel movie. It would probably be Iron Man one, but I love all the Marvel movies. I mean, I mean, I love all the Iron Man movies, uh, but yeah, I would pick Iron Man one. But I, but like, just like you were talking about Iron Man two, I love Iron Man two. I love Iron Man three. I just like the first Iron Man, just a little bit more. Like, I love the whole scene of him actually creating his suit, and then like, and then that, um, 
he gets um, he's like I'm gonna do 10% power and he thought oh well 10 percent that's okay you know that that's not a lot of power and apparently it's too much power and he like gets blown off the wall and shit you know and he's yeah. like and then the next scene he's like seriously I'm gonna just start with one percent power and and even one percent is actually a lot you know what I'm saying so uh, yeah so if I had to pick just one it would be Iron Man all right, Randall. Before we continue on with our Iron Man, uh, I mean our uh, Avengers re- uh, review, let's do it again with DC. One movie. If you only had to pick one movie, I'm gonna go with the original Superman movie. On on DC side, the original Superman w- movie with Christopher Reeves. That's one of the older ones. But if I had to pick a newer DC, probably. Um, Superman vs. Batman on DC. That's that's me picking from the newer movies, Randall. But if I can pick any any DC movie, Superman, the original. You know, I'm gonna stick with that. The original Christopher Reeves 1970s Superman. That's 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 the only one I'm picking. Go, Randall. What DC movie? Uh, just pick one DC movie. Well, if I had to pick just one, it would either be uh, it would either be Justice League, Just Whedon's version, or Batman versus Superman, or Man of Steel. Don't even go there, Randall. <laughs> I knew Randall was gonna do that. I knew okay. Randall was gonna do that. So no, which one would it be, Randall? Well, see, no, I'm doing uh, better, Dark Randall. Knight. I'm, the Dark Knight, Randall, without question. I'm doing better. I was about to pick two, and I was like, nope. I'm just going to pick one. I'm just going to pick one. So, yeah. So, one. So, mine is the original Superman with Christopher Reeves. You said yours was the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Not even not even close. It so. Is, like, the Dark Knight is not only one of the best move, uh, superhero movies all of all time. The mm-hmm. Dark Knight is probably one of the best movies of all time. I was going to ask you why you picked that. But, I mean, now. now yeah, because, like, I mean, in the first showing, th- there's lots of moments like in the first showing where I was like, oh my God, holy shit. Like the part mm-hmm. where uh, Heath Ledger slams the guy's eyeball down on the pencil. That was like, oh my God, fuck. Oh yeah. Like, like, well, that one's great. He's like, give me and one. the part where uh, the commissioner drinks acid and you see yeah. the acid like on, on the desk smoking yeah. shit. I was like, fuck. Well, it's really and funny. The part where uh, the Joker stops at the, uh, the, the Mack truck stops at the light. And the cop's like, hey, you got to go somewhere else, pal. And then, like, Joker pops up and shoots him in the face with a shotgun. I was like, holy shit. Well, it's really funny. There were tons of holy shit moments in this movie. <sighs> okay, give me a second, Randall. I've tried to say yeah. this, the same question, like, five times now. Yeah, maybe you should wait until I finish speaking first and then do it. Well, I thought you were done, buddy. Okay. All right. What I was going to say was, it's really funny about the pencil scene. Is because the black guy's like, give me one reason why I shouldn't have my man, like, tear your head off. And then immediately, he's like, how about a magic trick? And then he does the trick, and he's like, look! And you disappear. And then, and then, he, and then he goes into that long-ass spiel. He's like, he's like, let's wind the clocks back a year. These cops, like, wouldn't dare touch you. Did your balls fall off? That whole scene is fantastic. The way it's yeah. shot. Like, every, I love everything about it. I, the way it's shot, the way they shoot it in a kitchen, the costumes, the lighting. That's my favorite scene out of that movie, Randall, is, is that kitchen scene. What about you? Uh, my favorite scene is the bank heist at the beginning. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's not my favorite scene, but it's one of my favorite. I mean, it's one of my favorites, but probably... Um, his underground lair. You know how like they go into that shipping yard and it's and, and they and the, they do, they open up that uh, what is it? It's like a metal door to like the yeah. back the back of a, a, a big rig truck. And shipping then, container. Uh, yeah, shipping container that can go either on a boat or on the back of, uh, of like a big rig truck. They open the door and then they push a little button on the side of the wall and then like out of nowhere an elevator comes up and it takes them down into this lair. And, beca- uh, and the reason why they had to make a layer off of Wayne Manor is because they were rebuilding Wayne Manor. Because they blew- well, – uh, well, they didn't blow it up in the first one. They- it got caught on fire by Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. And I'm like, 
and it kind of blew my mind real because I'm like, oh shit, I'm like, I thought Batman only had just one bat cave, and he's like, now he's kind of got like two. He's got uh, the one in that shipping container, or whatever, and yeah. now he's got now he's still got the one under Wayne Manor. Yeah. So I was like, oh shit, he's got multiple caves now. I'm like, okay. And you know, Candyman is the same way. He's got a he's got a hideout under his house, and yes. he's got a hideout under uh, Eric Bergeson Global Tower. I remember that. I, I I remember asking you that. I remember and. I had some lines as ca- as as cameo kid Cody, in the one where I found out that he has a secret lair underneath Ray's house. Yeah, I remember. I don't remember exactly what I told you. Remember, I called you and I said, "Randall." I said something to the effect of, "Oh my God, Randall, my mind is blown." And you were like, "Like, what are you talking about, Fears?" And I think I remember saying, "I thought he only had one one lair under the Global Towers. That's that's where he works." And then, Randall, do you remember what you said? You said, like, I wanted to put one under his house. Or Do you remember what you said? Uh, well, you know, a, a, lot of, a lot of millionaires and a lot of billionaires have safe, safe, uh, safe rooms in their house. Yeah. And, uh, you know, um, uh, Cammy Man is no different. He's got safe rooms, too. I, I, I just thought, like, oh, he's got one at his work. That's where his secret lair is. You know, but it just kind of blew my mind that he had one under his house. But it makes sense now, Randall, because you love the shit out of Batman, and Batman yeah. has has. I guess it's kind of a safe house. You know, the Batcave is his safe house, whatever. Safe room, yeah. Safe room, yeah. That's it's just a big, big ass safe room because he keeps all the Batmobiles and uh, what's the, what's the flying machine that he flies around in, Randall? I forgot. Uh, the lobster. Oh no, I think it's called the bat. Is it just called yeah, it's called the bat. I couldn't remember what it was called. Oh, isn't it Batwing or whatever? I thought it was Batwing. Uh well the Batwing is what he had in Batman nineteen eighty nine and Batman Forever. Okay. Uh but but in The Dark Knight Rises the it's called the Bat. It's just called the Bat, okay. I guess it depends on what story, yeah, but they'll call it differently. Cause they, cause in Batman Forever they had the Bat Boat, uh Robin. Robin gets in the bat boat. Yeah. I I would say in all the movies, Batman Forever has the the most toys in it, and the most gadgets and the most vehicles. Because in Batman Forever, he he's got the bat wing, he's got the Batmobile, the bat boat, tons of gadgets, like on on the side of the wall until the Riddler destroys them all. Then he's got that infrared suit that he uses. Isn't it infrared or night vision, Randall, or whatever it is at the end of the movie? Uh, sonar. What is it? Sonar. Sonar, that's right. Yeah, I couldn't remember what it was, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Randall, you're making me laugh. <laughs> you guys can't see Randall's facial expressions, but Randall's all, like, doing this. All doing that, and I'm trying to focus on the show. And I'm like, I can't take Randall serious with all these fucking, like, facial expressions. Yeah. All right, Randall, any more comments on uh, the Avengers? I mean, those were good scenes that you were talking about, but anything else that you want to add to the Avenger uh, uh, review, my friend? Uh, no, not really. Um, all right. One, actually, yeah, one, one thing that uh, Joss Whedon said uh, in the director's commentary of Avengers is that he couldn't figure the ending, so he basically, he couldn't figure out the ending, so he basically came up with, like, a five-act, like, little structure just for the third act. Uh-huh. So kind of like five acts within three acts. I mean, you know, pretty much the ending, it's that massive battle sequence, and then once they take Loki, yeah. once they take Loki down and, and all of Loki's, like, army, then it's like all the Avengers getting back to their normal lives, and then you know the city is left in ruins. So now mm-hmm. the now the city has to rebuild, and um, you know that's about it. And then everyone goes their separate ways. Yeah. So yeah, I told Visions and everybody else that I was live streaming. I don't know. Uh, he he said at six thirty thirty. He goes, "Oh, bitchin' fears." But I don't know. Maybe he had. Maybe he had, had something else to do. 
Uh, no, you actually read it wrong. It says, you're a bitch, Spears. Yeah, so, yeah, right, yeah. Randall. He didn't call me a bitch. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, dude. He didn't do that. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I mean, people, <laughs> people could be busy. Uh, I'm just saying. Are they busy? We'll see. Well, I'm just. It, it, it seems like that because Is Garth, it really 916 right now? Oh my god. I, thought it was... I mean, a lot of people could be busy, but Garth is the only one. I refreshed the page. I thought, well, maybe it's. I haven't refreshed the page in a while. So I thought it was way earlier than 916. I didn't know. It kind of feels earlier than 916, but no, it's it's 916. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know where everybody is. Well, a lot of people could either be at work or they could be eating dinner or whatever, but. I welcome everyone and anyone to come. So, put your uh, put your comments in the chat for me. Would love uh-huh. to hear. Would love to hear from you. All right, Randall. I think that's a good uh, place to to move uh, to the next topic. All right, buddy. So, like I said, whether it's fifty years into the future or a hundred years into the future, you pick, Randall. But. What would what type of future inventions would you like to see, like like in the future, Randall? If they said, "All right, Fears, all right, Randall, you can go fifty to a hundred years into the future," what type of inventions would you like to see? I'll let you go first, Randall, and then I'll chime in. Uh, I would like to see a uh, a replicator. Oh, nice. Marshall says, "Howdy." I, I would just replicate a bunch of sushi over and over again. What's up, Marshall? Good to see you. Uh, Marshall says, "Howdy" to uh, Fears and Randall. What's up, Marshall? Yeah. Marshall, me and Randall are gonna pose the same question to you. Marshall, if you could go fifty to a hundred years into the future, what type of inventions would you like to see, my friend? Randall, I agree with Randall. A replicator would be awesome, Randall, because you know I'm not that much of a cook. So yeah. if you could literally just go up to a machine and say, "I would like." You know, a medium rare steak with a side of mashed potatoes and, and corn and, or whatever you wanted, and then just hit a button and then it just magically appears on a plate. It would save a, it would save a lot of um, it would save it would save world hunger, Randall. No one would go hungry. Uh-huh. So no one would go hungry. It it would eliminate washing dishes because once you were done, you could just put that plate back into the replicator. You know what I'm saying? Or you could get an android wife who could wash dishes, and then you would never have to wash dishes again. Well, again, you wouldn't have to wash wash dishes at all if you had a replicator, because remember, like when they're done with the plate, they put the plate back into the replicator, and it makes it disappear. I don't remember that. Yeah, anytime if you if you watch on Voyager, she takes the books, she takes all the plates, and she puts it back into the replicator, and she hits. She says recycle, and it recycles um, the plate, and it goes away. She reads uh-huh. all these poems, and she doesn't want those books anymore, and so she puts the books back into the replicator, and she hits a button, and she says recycle, and then it, it makes the books disappear. It recycles that energy back into the, back into the replicator. Uh huh. So I guess recycle means it gets rid of whatever whatever they replicated and it puts that energy back into the replicator. So it would solve uh-huh. a, it would solve a lot of problems. But anyway, Marshall says Fears Man Six. Oh, M- Marshall said he would love to see Fears Man Six in, uh, in the future. That's funny, Marshall. I didn't get that joke until yeah. until now, Randall. I was like, what is he talking about? Listen. Yeah. Randall is working on it. Randall was only one guy. Randall, we've only got what two scenes left on Fears Man Five. Yeah, two or three about that. So, as soon as Fears Man Five is done, Randy wants to work on a cameo man and another, and another project because Rand- we always do it equally. Like Randall gets two projects, then I get two projects. So, we're working on it, Marshall. Uh-huh. I promise you, but I didn't get that joke until yeah. now, Randy. <laughs> I really didn't. Yeah. I was like, well, "What is he talking about?" So that's one invention that you'd like to see. I, I, Randall, I would really like to see a time machine. I think a time machine would be really cool. I doubt we'll I'll ever see it in my lifetime, but a time machine would be really cool, buddy. What do you think about a time machine? A uh, time machine? Nah, wouldn't do it. You, you you wouldn't like to see that? Nah. 
So why? I'm just curious. Uh, why? Why not a time machine? Why wouldn't you want to see that? Well, uh, what would happen if he uh, if he go forward in time like two three years and like America is in ruins, or like that's uh, true, or like or like somebody nukes the planet and uh, you wake up and in, inside a bunch of boiling hot lava. That's true. And a lot of people a lot of people think that going back to like the fifties or sixties would be cool, but you got to realize if you went back to the fifties or sixties, there's no internet. There's no wireless. There's no computers. Very true. There's no Photoshop. I still, I still would want to see it. Hey, what's up, Beer Man? Beer Man says, what up, boys? Better be good in here. We are. We're just chilling. Me and Randall were just talking about future. Beer Man, what do you think? What future invention would you like to see? Randall, I know time, time travel would probably be uh, dangerous. I'd like to see the holodeck. That's what I'd like to see. Randall, I know time travel would, would be dangerous but i still would want to see a time machine so you said your next one is the holodeck nice yeah so randall let's say a holodeck um was invented what would be the first thing that you'd want to go onto the holodeck and see or like create uh i would like to uh recreate the power rangers with me as tommy oh and do and do all like so you'd be part of the show as tommy yeah that's awesome dude uh, I'll be honest. The first thing that I would recreate is I would feed into the holodeck all sorts of pictures of my dad and my grandfather, and it would recreate my dad and my grandfather, and I would love to talk to both my grandfather and my dad again. And uh, maybe a little Dilly and Harper action, too. Uh, well, first my dad and my grandfather, but yes, then a little Dilly and Harper. Yummy Dilly and <laughs> Yummy Dilly and... So, uh, and Kindly Myers, I can't forget about her. Cannot forget about her. But no, no, if I'm being serious, I would love to have my dad and my grandfather on the holodeck. I would just, like, feed in the computer, like, a thousand photos of my dad and my grandfather so it got, like, really, really accurate. And, yeah, let's see. Uh-huh. Beer Man says, let's go back in time in a time machine in Doc Brown's time machine, LOL. Hell yeah. And Randy Brown's time machine. And then he yeah. says, uh, this stream is rocking and partying, boys. Well, thanks, buddy. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. This stream is lit. Yeah. Yeah, he usually says it's either rocking or it's lit. So, yeah. Hell yeah, beer man. A DeLorean time machine. So, let's see. You said a holodeck. The next thing that I would want to see, probably, um, you know what, Randall? I would love to see a lightsaber. I think a, a, an actual functioning lightsaber would be cool. What do you think about? I, I wouldn't trust you with a functional lightsaber. You'd like twirl that shit and drop it on the floor and set a fire. Oh and shit. bullshit, <laughs> Randall! No, I wouldn't. Are you being for real? No, I'm I'll, laughing, Pierce. I was like, go to I'm hell, Randall. <laughs> I think I know how to handle a lightsaber, my friend. Oh really? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be like Anakin Skywalker and get my arm. Oh, wait, uh, Luke Skywalker and get my arm fucking chopped off. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, listen, he, he was actually keeping up with his dad. It was his dad that chopped off his arm, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't chop off your arm or my arm, you know? Right. Darth Vader is a little baby back bitch. He starts, yeah. off, as, he starts off as like a cool. Jedi on the light side, then he has like a little, a couple little temp, temper tantrums, then he's on the dark side, then he's a badass Sith on the dark side, then he becomes a bitch again, you know, and and then finally he goes back to a good guy. Why, why is Darth Vader a bitch? I don't get this. Why is he a bitch? I don't know. He just has a, he's got some mood swings, you know, like. Darth Vader is badass. He so is bad. badass. He just he, he's got he's got some serious mood issues. Yo, CMG, what's up? He says Star Trek Next Gen is the best. You uh, know, I've got some serious food issues, uh, so I'm going to go get my, my my Mexican pizza right now. Go get it, Randall, and come back. Go get it. Uh, I agree, CMG. I, de- I I I agree on that factor. I agree. Star Trek Next Gen is good. Now, I will say this. Yakoff likes um Deep Space Nine. Since me and Yakov have been getting, we, we well, we don't always get along, but we've been getting along better. I like certain episodes of Deep Space Nine, but my two favorite 
two favorite are Next Gen and Voyager. And we go Next Gen, Voyager, the original series, then Discovery. I'm sorry. It, it would go, it would go, uh, I'm sorry. It would go Next Gen first, then Voyager, then the original Star Trek series, the one in the 60s, then uh, Enterprise, then Discovery. I'm sorry. Then Picard, then Discovery. Stranger Worlds, and then at the very bottom, Deep Space Nine. If I forgot one of those, then I apologize. I have a I have a, Vo a, a Voyager model kit. Oh my god, that's awesome. You still haven't built it, CMG? Oh my god, dude, get get on that, man. What the hell? Get on it. Listen, uh, you guys know that Fears has a uh, a, um, a fan mail, right? A fan mail. So if anyone wants to send me any Star Trek movie props, I would really appreciate that. So send your fan mail to this, and I will debut it in a stream or a video, my friends. Movie props, please send some. I don't care which one, just send me some. Me likey. That's right. And also send Randall some fan mail. Randall has yet to get any fan mail. Send Randall some fan mail. Because Randall, whenever whenever I get some for you, I'm going to bring some. And Randall will read his fan mail. So, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, Randall, they said that my audio is coming in a little low. So, let me turn up my audio a little bit. Let me just turn it up a little bit. Hopefully that's not too loud. All right, Randall, let me just test something out. Let me just make sure this is okay. Because I, cause I, I've never fucked with the audio, but I just fucked with the audio in, uh, in, in OBS. And I just want to make sure that the audio it, uh, is good. Marshall says, I'm going to send you a box filled with 10,000 ladybugs. Well, don't send me that. Don't send me that. Nothing alive. Let me let me listen to this, Randall. Who we'll only accepts Billy and Harper. I've never fucked with the audio. But I just S fucked with the audio in... Uh, in that sounds pretty in good. OBS, and I just want to make sure that the audio it, uh, is good. Marshall says... I'm that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Give me one second. Anyway. Yo, Chicken Wizard, what's up? Good to see you, my friend. Uh, he said, oh, it's Kagan's. Kagan's Crossing. Hang on. It's not too loud, Fears. All right, well, do you want me to turn it up a little bit more? It's Kagan's. Kagan, C-A-G-A-N, Kagan Crossings. So, yeah. So, and you can address it to Fearsman26, John Fears, Fears Vlogs. And don't fret if you guys don't have enough time to write this down. It's always in the description of every single video or every single live stream. Or you can just pause the video. Or Exactly, or you can just pause the video. So, there you are. There we go. Anyway, well, Randall, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, turn up the sound just a little bit more because they said it's not, okay. It's not that loud, so let me just turn it up just a little bit more. All right. There we are. So hopefully that's hopefully that's better for them. So here, yep. let's see. Uh, it just sounds like it's a little low to us, Fears. Well, here, I just turned it up, so let me uh, let me see how it's doing now. Let's see what it sounds like. It's not that loud, so let me just turn it up just a little bit more. To me, that sounds good. All right. There we are. So hopefully that's hopefully that's better for them. So yeah, that sounds yeah. that sounds good, Randall. Don't you think? Yep. Yeah. That that sounded not too high. But not too low. That sounded perfect to me. 
I don't know. The last couple of days, OBS has been like, I don't know, like fucking up with their audio. And I I usually never fuck with the audio, Randall. I never fuck with it. I think it's because of the internet or some shit. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Because yesterday, it had me sounding like a computerized voice. And then I, I deleted the stream, started it, started it back up again, and then it was working fine. Now it's too low. So hopefully tomorrow, when I do a stream, hopefully, I hope... Because I'm not going to delete this one because we're already halfway through it, Randall. Uh, well, let's hope tomorrow. Let's hope tomorrow that it sounds better. Beer Man says it sounds better now, Fears. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, Chicken Wizard? He says, I love Deep Space Nine. I know it's usually the least favorite. Uh, I like the ladies, Nana, Visitor, and Tim. It's not that I don't like Deep Space Nine, uh, Chicken Wizard. Uh, I just, um, it's just my least favorite. So, yeah. By the way, Chicken Wizard, I'm not going to be able to come to uh, Missouri uh, in uh, May. Something came up. My mom said it's not a good time to visit. So, uh, I'm going to try and go either later on in the year where I can still go to another Toy Man show. And if I can't make it later on in the year because of work, then I'll do it. Then I'll do it next year. So... I'll keep you updated, uh, Chicken Wizard. All right, Randall. So since we were talking... I... Thanks, Chicken Wizard. I can't come in either. I talked to my financial advisor, and uh, he said it's a no-go, so we're not going to go. Shut up, Randall. Shut your freaking mouth. Shut up. Why, why are you telling me shut up? Because I told you. Keep your mouth shut, Randall. You open up your mouth when I tell you to open up your freaking mouth. Damn. Yeah, damn, 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 damn right. Yeah, me! It's my show, Randall, not your show. I'm just joking, Randall. I don't care. You can talk about whatever you want. I'm just playing around. You hurt my feelings, Fierce. Good! Good, Randall. I'm glad I hurt your feelings. Because you always hurt my feelings, Randall! I'm just joking. <laughs> Randall's like, damn, Fierce, this is getting dark. This is getting deep. Anyway... Anyway, no, there is there will be no Chuck E. Cheese uh, vlog. Randall, for some reason, they want me to go to Chuck E. Cheese, and I'm just like, look, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going to any pizza joint where the mascot is a giant rat. Well, <laughs> when I was a kid, I liked Chuck E. Cheese. It would be weird if I went to a Chuck E. Cheese by myself, you know? That would be like having a pizza joint and then like, hey, our, our, our mascot is a giant cockroach. Hey, how's well, it going? Oh, shit, Beer Man says... Uh, cry, Randy, cry. And then he says, wow, fears. <laughs> well, obviously I was kidding around. You, you guys know I love Randall. Randall's my best friend. I love the guy like a brother. He's awesome. But yeah, uh, CMG, I would love to get some fan mail from you, buddy. So one more time, send your fan mail to 16745 Kagan Crossings Boulevard, STE102B. PMB 40, Claremont, Florida, 34714. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to reading your guys' fan mail or doing unboxing or whatever the hell you guys want to send me. So, yeah. I look forward to it. But, no, you, you guys know I was playing around. I, lo I love Randall like a brother. All right, Randall. So, I, so, you said the holodeck and then I said a lightsaber. What other, in excuse me, what other invention would you love to see? holograms oh what holograms. oh holograms holograms that'd be cool that would really be cool um i would really love to see like like uh and i, I I'm, and I'm not trying to take all the technology out of star trek but star trek literally shows you all the future technology they got the idea randall they had to have, you, you know those little pads that they work on the iPad, I guarantee you, whoever invented the iPad, which is Apple, Apple computers invented iPads, I guarantee you they got the idea to do the iPad from the little pads that they use in Star Trek. It makes sense. They look almost the same size as those. So I would love to see those futuristic pads that they that they record stuff on, they write stuff on, on those, and they literally just use their finger and push a bunch of buttons on those pads. And they spell it, like, the iPad is spelled I-P-A-H, uh, and they spell it, 
uh, P. Uh, P A D. Spell the iPad again. They spell in Star Trek. They spell pad with two D's. It's P A D D. Pad. That's how they spell it in Star Trek. Uh-huh. And then, and then the iPads. I, I believe they spell it I P A D. iPad. I believe that's how they spell it. So yeah, I would love to see those futuristic uh, pads. But yeah, Carmine yeah. says, "Yeah, buddies." <laughs> So, what else? What else would you guys want to... Chicken Wizard, Marshall, CMG, what other type of technology would you guys like to see 50 to 100 years into the future? Randall, anything else? Uh, teleporters. Yep. Tel- teleporters would be sweet. Teleporter, yeah. Randall, if you got to use a teleporter, where would, they want, where would you want to be teleported to first? Uh, Amy Jo Johnson's house. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's a good I show. Work, I guess. I I would love to, to teleport to the International Space Station. I think that would be cool. Yeah. I've always wanted to go up into the International Space Station. I've always yeah. wanted to go to space. Yeah. It would be so much fun. It would be terrifying getting there, but once I got up there, I'd probably be fine. But it would be terrifying to get there. But I would do it. I would do it. See, Randall, now everybody's coming in. Now... We went from five viewers now to ten viewers. See, I, I knew people just need to get home. They came for me. They, they like me a lot. Well, they also like me too, Randall. It's not always oh, about yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that, about you, true. Randall. It's about me. <laughs> me! No, I'm just joking. You? It's what? about us, Randall. It's about us. I'm just joking. I love I love uh, hanging out with Randall, and he's my buddy. He's my pal. Uh, he says, it would be cool if Randy came to Missouri too, Fears. That would be. I, I've always invited Randall, so maybe the next time I come, yeah, I, I'll definitely invite Randall. Thanks for the hearts. I don't know who gave me the hearts, but thanks for the hearts. Randall, would you ever want to come on a trip with me to Missouri? Nah. Really? I mean, they got some pretty cool stuff there. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I'd go with you. I mean, there's some pretty cool stuff. I definitely would take you to the Arch, Randall. The Arch is amazing. Everyone has to see that at least once in their life. At least once. It's It's a lot of fun. There's a museum at the bottom of the arch inside. You do the whole museum, and then you get into these little elevators. It takes you all the way up, like a 1,000 feet up. And you can see the whole entire downtown St. Louis from these little windows on top of the arch. You're up like a 1,000 feet in the little arch part at the very tip top of the arch. And it is it is a lot of fun. Chicken Wizard, have you ever went to the, the top of the arch? Let me know. Let me know. Anyway, Randall, uh, uh, let's see. You just gave. Let's see. What else, what other inventions would I want to see? Um, let's see. What other inventions? Randall, what whatever type of device that they would make to make movies even better? You know, like eventually, you won't even need a, a DVD or a 4K player like in the future. Whatever device they would use in the future to make movie experiences that more cooler. I don't know what type of device. Uh-huh. Or like, yeah, the thing out of Back to the Future. The thing out of Back to the Future, the uh, the Hollow Max or whatever, you know, you know uh, where it says Jaws 19. Whatever the future of movie, m- movie viewing, I would like to see that device, whatever that device would be. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Chicken Wizard says... Uh, I'll have to I'll have to come to Florida Fears. I've always wanted to go to Orlando Studios. Chicken Wizard, since I've already met you in real life at the Toy Man Toy Show, I would be honored if you would come, buddy. Uh, uh, I would take the couch. You you, you could stay in Fears' bedroom. Uh, that's what I did with Tommy. Whenever Tommy NC twenty ten came, I said, Tommy, there's the bedroom. Stay in the Fears man's bed. And I said, I'll take the couch. So you wouldn't even need a hotel, Chicken Wizard. You could stay right here at Casa de Fears, my friend. And uh, I haven't went to Orlando Studios since before COVID. That was the last time I went to Orlando Studios. I, I went and did the um, Halloween Horror Nights, and it was fucking brilliant. It was amazing. And, and Fears would cut you a special deal. It's only $26 per night. 
in honor of Fierce Man 26. Yeah, right, Rand. Yeah. No, no, I didn't. If you go to a hotel, you'll be easily, easily be paying like 65 to 80. Rand, if you stay at Casa de Fierce, it's $26. That's not true. That's not true. Randall, it would be zero. It would be zero to stay at the at Casa How de Fierce. How do you make any profit off of that, Fierce? I'm, I don't want to make any profit. Chicken Wizard's my friend. I, I didn't. No. I didn't. I didn't charge Tommy anything. So it would be free. So Chicken Wizard, just like Tommy, you are more than welcome to come and stay at Casa de Fierce. And I and I would show you around, my friend, because I'm overdue to go to Orlando Studios again. I've just been. Going nuts on these dizzy Disney adventures because I've got a pass now. But yeah, the last time I went, it was right. It was right before COVID hit, and I went to the 2019 uh, uh, Halloween Horror Nights, and it was epic. It was epic, man. Randall, have you ever went to Halloween Horror Nights? No. Oh, dude, you gotta go. Halloween Horror Nights was epic, man. It was so good. It was so so good. Chicken Wizard says, I, I've been to the top of the arch. Uh, I didn't like it. I'm scared of heights. Okay, we'll see. That would make sense. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah, if you don't like heights, don't ever go to the arch again. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Or I guess it's called Universal Studios. Same thing, I guess. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's called the same thing. Or people, people, call it, people call it the same thing, Chicken Wizard. I've heard some people say Orlando Studios, Universal Studios. It's the same thing. Yeah, if we did go, we would buy the two-day ticket, where one day you go to Islands of Adventure and the other day you go and do uh, Universal Studios. So then you could experience both parks because they're they're side by side each other. So if we did and you came, I I would take you to both. And now they're building a third. Well, now technically there's four on on Universal's property. There's there's Volcano Bay, which is considered their third park. It's a, um, it's the, like one of the biggest water slide parks in the state of Florida. So I don't know about the entire world, but so there's Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, Volcano Bay, and then the fourth one is going to be called Epic, um, Epic Universe, and I think it opens up next year. I think so. Depending on when you came, Chicken Wizard, if if all four parks on, I would just buy like we would just buy like a four day pass, and each day we'd go to like a different park. I mean that would be the way to do it. So yeah, but yeah, man, you are more than welcome to come and visit Chicken Wizard whenever your little heart desires. Come stay at Casa de Fears. Come stay at Casa de Fears. All right, Randall. Any other um, uh, futuristic uh, inventions that you'd like to see, buddy? I don't know. Uh-huh. Well, speaking of Back to the Future, I would love to see, um, you know, in the restaurants, Randall's, where, where you talk to a television screen, you know, and then he's like, I just want a Pepsi, and then, like, the food popped up uh, out of the countertop. That would be cool. Obviously, I'd want to see a hoverboard. A hoverboard would be kind of cool, like their version of a hoverboard. Their version of a hoverboard would be sweet. Why are you putting in your uh, headphones, Randall? I just want to check something. Uh, ignore me for the next few minutes. Okay. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, hoverboards would definitely be a must. Hoverboards would definitely be a must, I think. That would be a really cool invention to to check out. What about you guys? Put in the chat. Chicken Wizard, what future inventions would you like to see? What about you, Carmine, Marshall, Beer Man? What about it? Let me know. CMG. So yeah, let me know what uh, inventions you guys would like to see. Randall, did you mess up your audio or what? No, hold on. Okay. Let me let me duck out and come back in. Okay. Okay, Randall. Here, uh, I'll turn it off and I'll call you back. All right. All right. Randall's checking his audio real quick. Yo, Visions, what's up? What's up, man? I went to another barbecue. Oh, hey, no worries, buddy. No worries at all. I was like, I hope he can make the show. I told him about it, but I was like, if you can't make the show, I understand. You know, people get busy. I get it. All right, let's try and call Randy back. Randy said he was checking his audio or something, so let's call him back. So I'm going to call Randall real quick. The internet and the phone lines have been crap today. Ugh, they've been horrible. They have been horrible. 
I may have to call Randall back on the phone. So. Visions, we, we reviewed this movie today. We reviewed, uh, uh, The Avengers, my friend. The Avengers. Randall, how's the audio? Hello. Pretty good, pretty good. So is that what you were checking when you were checking your audio? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Because I, 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 I guessed Randall. I was like, I don't know if Randall... I, don't, I, 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 like, I, I closed you out, and I said, hey, guys. I said, I'm going to call Randall back. I said, I think he's checking his audio. But I'll be honest, I'm like, I don't know what he was actually checking. So I was like, I hope my assumption is correct. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right, Randall. So the fans said, Chicken Wizard said, uh, I want the invention that makes humans live longer and healthier. That's a good one. That's a really, so do I, so do I, Chicken Wizard. That That is a good one. Uh, Carmine says, to be honest, dears, I wanted a, an invention to shorten my lifespan. Well, to each their own, to each their own. I, I want to live as long as possible. Beer Man says, hey, Visions, you better be a good boy. Well, listen, Beer Man, Visions is a pretty cool guy. So so Visions is the last person to to worry about, all right? Randall, I, I I gotta ask you something. What do you what do you think Beer Man's agenda is? He's always coming in saying, "Be good little boys and girls. Be good little boys and girls." And I'm like, everyone's pretty chill here. Uh, like, <laughs> uh, I think he just wants you to be good. You know, just just be a good good guy. Just be good. But I am a good guy. I I, I think I'm a pretty good host. I, I, I'm a pretty good guy yeah. in general, and I'm a pretty good host. But he says the same shit every time. And I'm like, okay, Randall, what was this? I saw you do that. What was that? Nothing, nothing. nothing. Yeah, right, Randall. You know I'm a good person. Come on. None of this crap. Don't even go there, Randall. Hey, Randall, I can do it the same for you too, buddy. (laughs) Randall, I know you're joking around. Listen, you know if you were in a jam. Don't even go there, Randall. Don't even go there. You know if you were in a jam, I would come and help you out. And I know if I was in a big jam, you'd be the first one I'd call, buddy. Yeah. So anyway. Hell, uh, perfect example. I called you uh, I called you earlier in the day, Randall, and I asked for your advice. I asked for your advice, and you gave me some great advice. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, Chicken Wizard, I like that idea. If I can't come this year, then, uh, dude... Come out, Chicken Wizard. That would be cool. Now, Chicken Wizard, if you did come out, I just have one simple, humble request. If you came, you got to get at least one cameo in that vlog. At least one cameo. Chicken Wizard. At least. Because I'd be like, dude, another fan came to visit Fears. Because so far now, I've had two people come to stay. I've had Larry come. And uh, I've had uh, Tommy come. So, yeah. Randall, let's call Larry. Let, let's call Larry and see how he's doing. Uh, no, Larry said, uh, never talk to me again. You're dead to me, Fierce. How dare you? Yeah, right. He didn't say that. He did not say that, Randall. Whatever. He said you're dead to me. No, he didn't. <laughs> let's see. Carmine says Fierce. El Homo says hi. Uh, he'd love to chat, but he's still block. I, I don't know how to unblock him. I tried. I tried to unblock him. I told him he should just make a new channel i've tried i don't know how to unblock people i thought i unblocked him he sent me the link to his channel i unblocked him and i pretty much unblocked his channel but i don't know how to unblock their chat like in the actual chat i have no idea i've tried everything and i so i don't know what to tell you guys i've i've tried everything anyway so let's uh so my advice is just to make a brand new channel so but i appreciate him still watching Randall, I'm going to call uh, Larry and see what he's up to. Because I haven't talked to Larry. Uh, when are you going to call him? I'm going to call him right now. Give me one second. Because I, I, haven't, I haven't talked to him in, in, a, in a while. He could be at work. I have no idea. So I don't know if he's going to pick up. I'm still trying to call him, Randall. 
Now he didn't pick up or something. Yo, Richie. I freaking dare him. Yo, Richie, what's up? How you been, buddy? Richie says, "What up, fears? What up, Randall? Good to see you." So, Randall, what about Richie's in the chat? Richie's in the chat. Randall, what about any more future technology, buddy? What do you think? Uh, I think I'm all checked out. Okay. Well, there it is. Pick up Harry, uh, Harry, Larry, buddy. Uh, listen, if Larry wants to come down, Chicken Wizard, whenever you come down, he's more than welcome. Uh, Larry said he wanted to come down and visit again, so I told him that's cool with me, man. I said, let me know. I said, definitely let me know. So, yeah. Visions, how was the barbecue, buddy? Let us know. Visions goes to a lot of barbecues, Randall. Actually, barbecue sounds really good right now. How was the barbecue? Richie says, uh, hi, Randy. How are you? Just doing a pretty chill stream. Pretty chill stream. Hi, Richie. I am fine. How are you doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Randall, because I can't come this weekend, because uh, my stomach's still kind of on hiatus, we're at 90%. What are you going to do the rest, uh, the rest of the weekend, buddy? Uh, I'm going to go to a steakhouse. Tonight? or t uh, I mean, uh, tomorrow night, right? Yeah. Nice. And obviously you're going to church tomorrow, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, well, if my stomach is feeling a lot better, then I'm going to church tomorrow. If not, I think I'm just going to stay home. So we'll see. If, if, uh, if it feels better, then I'll go to church, and then after church, I'm going to go to FYE, because I have not went to FYE in a while, my friend. So, yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah. Well, Randall, I think I'm getting tired, buddy. I think I'm going to end this stream by myself, my friend. So, yeah. So, I, th I, think, uh, I think we went on for long enough. We've been going for a while now. So, to everyone that got here a little late, I, I apologize, but uh, I'm getting pretty tired. You're getting pretty tired. I'm getting pretty I'll tired, Randall. Right I'm getting pretty tired. I've been, uh, what, yeah. we've, we've been going for what? We've been going for an hour and... Uh, half hour. Man. An hour and 17 minutes, so... Yo, yeah. Doom, what's up? Good to see you. Well, Doom, I hate to say it, I'm just about to check out for the day <laughs> but um i appreciate everybody showing up so yeah so chilling like a rock star hell yeah hell yeah but randall thanks a lot for coming on my friend yeah so randall uh are you gonna be online later yeah sure okay randall give me a call after the stream is done all right i'll do whatever the hell i want to do fears yeah damn okay Damn. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a call. I'll give you Either a call. call me tonight, Randall, or call me tomorrow after church. Uh, take your pick. Okay. Take take your pick. Either tonight or call me after church tomorrow. All right. All right, Randall. Well, thanks for coming on, buddy. I will see you later, my friend. All right, later, buddy. Peace out, Randall. Have a good one. All right. That was Randall. Cool. I always enjoy hanging out with Randall. Follow-up stream in one hour. Uh, actually, I'll be honest, I, I don't know if Randall's going live tonight. Um, he could be. Um, I think the better question is, is why wouldn't he, you know? So, no, I'm just getting a little tired, but, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the stream. Oh, my lord. Ah, mm. Anyway, but, um, yeah, so that's, I think that's all that Fears uh, has got tonight. Yeah. Quit yawning, Fears. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm just tired. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for the hearts, whoever was giving me the hearts. I appreciate that. But anyway, uh, Fears is probably gonna go take a little napo. Uh, but uh, I'm tired, so I think that's. I think we're gonna call it a night, my friends. But I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow, probably after church sometime. I don't know between two, three, four ish. So, mark your calendars. That's when Fears will be streaming. But if, but if I don't stream around 2, 3, or 4, then I'll let you know. So it depends on the old fear schedule, how, how long I take at church, and how long I take at FYE, and all that. So, yeah. Better not fall asleep on your stream, buddy. 
You know, I've yawned before, but I think the only per person in the community to fall asleep on stream, I think Carrie's done it. Richie, I know for a fact, is in it because he's done twenty. Uh, he's done. He's done sleep streams, and I think Sega fell asleep. Those three people, but I've never fallen asleep on camera. I've. Oh no no no! I have I have. Whenever me and Sam did those uh, video game streams, I got so tired that Sam had his green screen up, and I said, "Sam, play for a little while. I'm gonna take a nap." And so I took a little like 15 to 20 minute nap, and then I woke up and came from behind the green screen and sat back with Sam and finished up the stream. So technically, if you want if you want to get technical, it has happened, but. Uh, Without a green screen, I've never fallen asleep on camera. But that's the that's the one exception, my friends. But uh, I'm tired, so I'm gonna skedaddle. But I appreciate everybody showing up, my friends. I appreciate everybody showing up. I hope everybody had a good evening. I hope everybody will continue to have a good evening. Uh, for all the people that got here late, I'm sorry. But uh, but I uh, I'm glad that that visions stopped by. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, visions. Hopefully I'll see everybody else tomorrow. All right, I'm taking off. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Fears Man at Fears Man 26 and Fears Vlogs. Don't forget to follow my friend Randy at Cameo Man 2021 and his second channel, The Mayor of Magic. Follow Chicken Wizard in the chat. Give him a like. Give him a sub. He's he's my buddy. He's my pal. Follow the Sega Camp Gamer and Wear Camp on Twitch. The Sega Camp Gamer Twenty Two, and that about sums it up. But last, but certainly not least, D Man got here at the very last waking moment, and he says, "Later, everyone. Good stream." Hey, D Man, no problem. Follow D-Man, chillin' with those squirrel videos and those garden videos. Be sure to give D-Man a like and a comment and a sub. D-Man, more squirrel videos, please! They're funny. They're funny. I enjoy those squirrel videos. All right, I'm taking off. But this is Fears, signing off. Peace, deuces, and I'll see you guys later.